Hello everybody and welcome to another sports vlog in Miami TVG. This is Miami TV show, your host James and of course my partner Chris. Everything checking. So who are we here to watch? Messi for the first time. Hell to the freaking yes. We're here to see Messi, not only Messi, but a Florida Derby between Inter Miami taking on Orlando City. This is going to be one of the biggest matches that we've ever attended in our, in our entire lives. Might possibly be the greatest game we're probably going to see. Hopefully, Miami will find a way to get this dub and win this Florida tournament here in South Florida. Everybody check your team. Are you going to do a little sidewalk cast with me? Yes. Yeah. Go subscribe to him as he's going to also do a vlog in this game as well. Orlando City coming up with the with one loss. Miami have four points with one win here against RSL. And as recently as this Sunday, the Galaxy, as we drew against, at their tying up after they got the red card. Well, we'll see what happens here in this game. This Florida Derby, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild one. And hopefully, we come out on top. Bienvenidos al Shea Stadium. Yo soy Rodolfo Chavo. For today's matchup with the NPC team, Orlando City. And your Inter Miami.
playmaking. Come on, Messi. season at least it's by next season it'll be Miami Freedom Park down in Miami Florida nice nice Messi pass it to Busquets come on Orlando, that's what's going on. Oh, what a pass! Wide open! Yeah! It's Robert Taylor! And it was offside, too! Although, oh, to be fair, they might take a look at this one. Yeah, we're watching a replay. Pretty close. For the moment, right now, it's three nil. I, I would, ex I would expect some VAR. Or not, they're not looking at it. Oh, you're right, you're right. 3-0, Robert Taylor scores. That was a, that was a really good goal. More importantly, I wanna see Messi score. Oh, oh, I was ready to go back up. Oh, wow! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, can, we, can we see this moment? 
Actually, the Trident play the the Griffins, and now Orlando City is the third one on the Miami TVG channel. Oh, what a ball! Right, should have been four nothing, but whatever. Regardless, Miami up by three, looking very good. However, the game is not over yet. There's a lot more soccer left to be played. Orlando gonna go all offensive mode in the rest of the second half. Miami, what am I thinking about going for uh, defensive mindset? But yeah, Miami looking great. Will they hold on? We're about to find out. Well, well, it's halftime here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in the southern region of Florida. Between Inter Miami going up against Orlando City, who are based from Orlando, Florida, the central region. Miami going up 3 0 in the halftime with Luis Suarez scoring two, uh, Robert Taylor scoring the third goal uh, for Miami. Missy, um, as far as I know, did try to score that goal, and he did make it, but that was with offside, unfortunately. Now, with that being said, while Miami is looking really good, you have to know there are still 45 more minutes left to play. Um, the, the big concern here is the fact that Miami's playmaking is not is not perfect. I mean, no team will be perfect, but, but but my point here is the team is very prone of counterattacks, and we kind of saw that with RSL and our LA Galaxy, and really the preseason in, in this uh, in this season alone. That is a big concern, and Orlando would come out of nowhere, and they de and they could definitely beat you with, with the brick in the eye. So, I, I would think Miami will go in a full defense mode uh, in the second half, and who knows, maybe Orlando might put in more of the starters in because, I, because as far as I know, they did recently play their CCL as well as well as we are going to go to CCL on Thursday against Nashville. So. We'll see what happens in this one. I hope Miami will hold on against their state rival. That will be a big one, and hopefully Messi does score this one, because that will be brilliant. <laughs> All right, halftime is about to conclude. Miami does their uh, tributes. I'm coming out a little bit later. Come out a little late to start the second half. Perhaps play a little bit of mind games. But Miami looking really good. And we'll see what happens. In this half alone, hopefully we get this done. Uh -huh. Alright, back underway. mean in a halftime talk where something like that could happen.
It was folding. Exactly. Scored twice. 
it was it was awesome enough to see him score once, but to see him score twice, along with Suarez. This game is getting out of hand, and that's a foul. Suarez scoring twice, Taylor scoring, and then Messi scoring twice. This is just getting out of hand. I hope he scores a hat trick. That'll be awesome. Oh, oh my goodness! Go! Open! Go, 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 go. He tested it, I don't think he tested it. He was going to get it, but then he realized it was a goal, so he just stopped. He didn't even kick the goal. That's not too left. <laughs> Ooh, that might be too far. Too far. The Florida Panthers did win their game against the Detroit Red Wings on ABC ESPN Plus. They won 4 nothing against the Detroit Red Wings with um, Montour scoring. Oh, whoa! Thank goodness! What a save! It's so good. Hey, it's absolutely... Actually, I'll just say this point. He's one of the biggest reasons why we won the Leafs Cup Final. I'll just say that. Hey, anyway, one more note. Uh, Montour scoring the goal. Um, Brian Hart scoring a power play goal. Rodriguez scoring the goal. And then Cooper Hayton would finish off with a power play goal. Nice clearance. We've seen hat trick before. Last season with the. Uh, the All-Star game with Matthew Kachuk. What a ball by Orlando. Oh no. Shut out and still Wow, what a save! Great freaking calendar, people. Woo! Still a corner. And we have a hero in town. My worry was the counter, the counters that Miami would give up in this game, but tonight, no problem. Oh, speaking of counters. Hey! Go! Yes! Yes! How many minutes did I say? One? I think it's one minute. We're taking a closer look. I think, I think it's Messi. Messi! 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 Come on, let's get this hat trick. Oh, 
Oh, maybe. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh. One more. Oh, man. Oh, it's Inter Miami Corner. It's an Inter Miami Corner. We don't get that. I think it's our first quarter of the game. As we definitely win this game, let's see if we can score the sixth goal. Maybe, maybe he'll, maybe he'll score a hat trick. finished here at Drive Pink Stadium or Chase Stadium, whatever you want to call it. In the end, it is Inter Miami finishing off Orlando City in, in Game 3 matchup. 5-0 over Orlando City. This game had everything you dreamed, you dreamt of, except for the hat trick. I thought the hat trick would have been awesome. Inter Miami was dominant from start to finish and we were we had this little concern in the halftime talk about the the counter attacks how it's not that it, how like we always end up in receiving any of the counter attacks in this game there was no problem not too much problems with that as miami that had defeated orlando city in the five nil shutout we got to see suarez scoring two goals we got to see robert taylor scoring and we got and more importantly we got to see Lionel, Lionel Messi scoring twice in this game. One of them was a bizarre goal, and the other one was a clean strike down the middle goal. And it was just absolutely fantastic to watch. Every to strike your team, what did you think of this game? I enjoyed the game. I'm happy I get to see my GOAT Messi play. Messi is better than Ronaldo, because Ronaldo, we won't be able to do all this stuff. Oh. So, um, and it was a blowout, too. So, um, go into Miami. He said it, not me. <laughs> you go on a little debate with Ronaldo and Messi. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I would like to thank each and every one of you for tuning in on this video. It's been an absolutely amazing ride there. So yeah, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for content, and what a what an amazing start for Season 4. The kick-ass start for Season 4 of Sports Vlogs. And um, yeah, folks, and I sent the new title of the videos it kind of it kind of falls under cat with other videos anyway guys that's gonna do it but this one if you have enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe for content because my TV you guys are back and what he does hit the red thing with your favorite entertainment you deserve and yes i got a new hat anyway guys this is my tv everything thank you sign up folks good night everybody adios